everyone just another quick update on my gate driving circuit so this is just the PWM signal from the triple five and before I proceed any further I'll show you the circuit diagram of what I've built so this is basically it you have four transistors three of them NPN and one of them is PNP and I've also indicated with a small single pulse to show what it does so this is basically an inverter you know I can't stand these inverting gate drivers so I decided to build my own non inverting gate driver positive pulse here positive pulse output always so you have a 20k input resistor I didn't want my PWM signal to collapse completely so some input impedance a 330 ohm pull up resistor so the collector is connected to the base of the second resistor which is yes pulled up over here the both these resistors are 330 ohms I've tried 270 ohms but those two resistors heated up too much 330 seem to be the perfect balance I don't know what it will do with higher value so we'll have to test that and this is the standard push pull driver PNP and an NPN I've also indicated which oscilloscope channel I use. So channel 1 which is the yellow trace over here is the input signal channel 2 is the output so let's see okay first this is what the circuit looks like on a breadboard you have the 20k input resistor the 2 NPN transistors the 330 ohm resistors and the push pull amp so I'm gonna turn on channel 2 and this is what the MOSFET gate waveform looks like. Not bad, but still has a slight offset, which I don't like. And the rise time seems to be a bit slow, around 150 nanoseconds. Okay, let's measure that. What does it say? 295 nanoseconds. That's very bad. Well, at least it's a good start. I might be building two versions of this PWM circuit. I maybe I'll build this transistor version on this board and when I get my gate drivers, I'll put them on a separate board, interchangeable. So this is what it looks like. And the frequency is around 50 kilohertz not bad for this kind of a circuit and I found out why my multi sorry my current meter wasn't showing anything yesterday it was because of this capacitor it provided most of the current high frequency current so when I take it out the current increases and you can see these small voltage spikes over here which is undesirable by the way so I don't know why my circuit is jittering all over the place much better this is how it's supposed to be something to do with the cables maybe and anyways this is what the drain to source waveform looks like the pink one not bad good for a start so maybe I'll take it from here let's hope this is enough for my application I won't be going above a hundred kilohertz definitely for my flyback converter and only a single switch so this thing won't take up too much of space it's supposed to fit on the other half of this perf board hopefully it does that so yes that's pretty much what I've done so far oh, and I almost forgot to mention this thing is called an Indian 500 rupee note and in dollars it's around um, what 500 by 70 seven dollars not bad for a start and that goes into this jar so let's see where it goes from